So cord cutting ceremony. We're going to do a guided journey together. So why don't you um, relax? Get in a comfortable position. It is okay during this ceremony if your eyes are open or closed, if you are sitting, lying down, or moving around. It doesn't matter because it's about what's happening in you and whatever you are comfortable with. If your eyes are open, you know, keeping them a little spaced out might be a good thing. As long as your focus is with us in the moment. Give your body permission to relax. Tell your body that you're not gonna micromanage it. It has permission to manage itself. When you think about it, your lungs have been breathing since the first moment you left your mother's womb. And your heart has been beating even longer than that. Your body can manage just fine without being told what to do. Give your body permission to manage itself. Give all the energy in your body permission to just flow out through your body. Release. If you feel any pain or pressure or discomfort in your body, other than maybe shifting your position a little, if you feel any pain or discomfort in your body that you think is caused by emotions, heartache, anxiety, stress, acknowledge it and thank it for caring so much about you that it feels the need to stay here in a protective way. Give it permission to release and relax, take a little break, and to absorb all the good energy that is getting ready to flow into your being, to absorb the love that you feel for it, for being such a kind, generous energy that stays in you to protect you. Give your feet permission to relax so all the energy that's stored in your body can just flow on down through your body, down through your legs, down into your feet, and down through the bottom of your feet into earth, where our beloved Earth Mother, Gaia, Pacamama, receives your energy and transmutes it to the highest form of love, then sends it off into earth where all the nature beings absorb it with gratitude. Doesn't matter what energy you send to our earth mother, she is always glad to receive it and transmute it to the highest frequency of love. Invite the top of your head to relax and open up so that all of the beautiful, sacred, loving energy from your soul, who is always connected with you, can flow on down into the light and airy top of your head, filter around through your mind, Flow down through your neck and your spine. Flow down into your body, down your hips, your legs, your feet, deep into earth. Your soul loves you. Your soul designed and created you to be exactly who and what you are. 
your soul always has love, gratitude, and appreciation for you. The same way any doting parent or older sibling would have for their beloved, courageous young friend. Your soul absolutely dotes upon you and is cheering you on always, every moment of your life. Whenever you need help or support, open yourself up and ask your soul, just fill me up, fill me with your love. And you are guaranteed, guaranteed to receive that. If you feel any pain or pressure in your head or your forehead, that's just a very understandable reaction to any foreign force coming on in. Acknowledge it and give it permission to relax and resolve and absorb this really good friendly love from yourself to yourself. Just allow yourself to open up, receive, flow, flow on down. You may find you're emanating out. Breathe and flow, flow, emanate. This energy that's flowing down from your soul, invite it to flow not just in you, but around you as well, so that you are bathing in the love of your soul, like a shower of pure love from the very best of you down to the whole of you. Allow this love from your soul to flow down into you and around you. You may even feel like it's swirling around you, swaddling you, flowing. This pure love from your soul like a tangible energy. Like this love from your soul is your air, your food, your drink, your clothing, your wrap emanating inside of you, filling your cells, your molecules, your atoms with pure love. This love is so powerful, even magnetic. You can feel it wrapped all around you and under you, charging you up with light particles of love. Allow yourself, just let go so that this energy can raise you up, so that you can flow up in this column of love, flowing up guided by the beautiful presence of your magnificent soul. So your soul is just reaching down and raising you up effortlessly up, up, protecting you, guiding you, raising you up out of this environment, raising you up 
to a place where it's peaceful, raising you up to a place where everything is calm, raising you up to a place where everything is open and pure, raising you to the bardo, the twilight realm, the land between lands, the space between dimensions, all places, everywhere, every when, is connected here in the twilight realm. In this place of pure healing and pure being, the twilight realm, the bardo, a place where nothing is expected and all things are accepted and valued. Here in the twilight realm, whomever or whatever you call to you is contractually obligated to come forward and present themselves. So for now, I want you to call someone that you wish to perform a cord cleansing ceremony with. It can be someone you love dearly or someone you wish to do some cutting and releasing. Call anyone you want. And this person is contractually obligated to appear. Call out, I call you. I command you to come forward and meet me here and now in the bardo. Off in the distance, you see someone walking towards you. You see someone coming closer and closer and you realize you know this is the one that you had called. The one you called comes forward, stands before you, facing you. And I want you to look at this person and look at the lines of energy between you. There may be one line, there may be many lines. Look at the energy between the two of you. What do these lines of energy look like? Does each one look unique? Do they look the same? What color are they? And what are they made of? In what direction is the energy flowing through these lines? Are there lines of love? Do they flow equally or is it all from one person to another? The cords of energy that are not love. How does that energy flow? Look at all of these cords of energy between you, what they're made of, how big or small, how powerful are they, how they flow, where they feel as they connect to your body.
And now I want you to look into your hand. You will find the perfect cutting implement there in your hand. Look in your hand at this cutting implement. It may be big, it may be small, maybe your hand itself. It is the perfect instrument. And look at these cords. When you cut these cords, the cords of love will be magnified even more love. If the cords of love have any debris on them, the debris will fall off and the love will shine brighter. If there are cords that are not love, they will be severed and the energy, the cords will go back to each of you and absorbed for healing so that all that will be left between you is love. Take your hand and your implement. Raise it up. Raise it up high and cut it down. Cut. Cut through every cord between you and this person. Cut all around you. Cut all around them. Cut. 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 And look at these cords. Look at these cords as you are cutting. What do they do? How many of them become more love and how many of them release and return? Look at these cords and keep cutting, cut, 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 cut. And then stop and look at the energy between you again. If there were any cords that were fully severed, honor your body as it absorbs your energy and heals from where these cords were. If you'd like, you may do some laying of hands where the cords were to honor this space within your body. Look at the one that you cut from. What does this person look like now? Now that there's only love or nothing between the two of you. The only connection you could have at this moment is pure love. If this person tries to reach back, send the cords back to you, go, no, 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 no. You keep those. All that I will accept from you is love. And if you look and see that there's nothing between you, then perhaps this is a good time to release this person from your life or from having any hold on your being. So as you wish, you may invite this person to stay or invite them to leave. But now, let's call your family. Let's call as much of your family as you'd like. It can be your siblings, your parents, your extended family. You can bring your ancestors, as much of your family as you like. Invite them to come forward now. You look and you see everyone you invited walking forward presenting themselves to you. Look at them. How does it make you feel when your family is here? Is there any part of you swelling with joy and any part of you feeling anguish? What do you see 
it's probably a complicated bunch of chords and energy. Look at the lines of energy between you and everyone in your family. And also look at the lines of energy between them to each other. A lot. So at this moment, say what you wish to your family. If you'd like, as you raise up your cutting implement, you may invite your family members to also join with the cutting ceremony, raising up their cutting implements. It's your choice. If you wish to be the one severing, healing, releasing, amplifying love, or if you would like it to be a family group adventure, whatever feels right for you. Raise your hand, and cut, cut all of the automatic triggers, cut the toxic memories that never go away, cut through all of the, the crud that's crusting over the love, cut through everything that interferes with your ability to just have pure, joyful love. When you connect with or even think about these people, your family, just cut all around you, cut beneath you and above you, cut around everyone. Just cut, cut. And then look at the energy, look at your family. How do they look now that you have released all this weight from your relationships? How do you feel? Do you need to do some more cutting? Go right ahead. Go well. Family relationships are complicated. Cut as much as you like. Look again at your family. Do they look as they do now? Are you seeing happy memories pop up? Is there any love radiating? Are you feeling forgiveness in any direction? Are you feeling love or release? Do you feel like you can say to your family, I wish you well? And then feel in your heart, do you wish them well to go that way? Or do you wish them well to be with you? How do you feel the flow of connection? And once again, raise your cutting implement. And just do another go around, another go around, cutting. I 
and then release your family. Release them to wherever you like to be remaining beside you or release them to go. Now let's let's take a look at the politics. Everything we described with our family, it's the same with our country. Everyone is triggered, reactive, responding more to an emotional, personal fear than the actual situation. Invite our country. Invite the politics to come forward. It doesn't matter what your beliefs are, whom you voted for. You know our country is better and stronger when we are together, one nation. It's time for us to heal. Heal all the pain and anguish, the exhaustion that this situation of fighting with our friends, our neighbors, our family, the headlines, it's taken a personal toll on each of us and we feel it. The fear, the anxiety of what's next. We each have within us the power, the power to change this by coming together as brothers and sisters to rebuild our nation. Whether we come together in person or whether we just release the hold on our hearts that this situation has affected to each of us. When it comes to healing from the struggle, this may be an external connection or it may be an internal. Both are equally valid. So look within yourself And say within your heart, your soul, to your nation, I don't need to feel this pain anymore. We don't need to connect with this fear and pain anymore. Look at the energy between you and our country, our politics. Raise up your hand with your cutting implement. Say to our country, it's time for you to give me as much love as I give you. Bring your implement down and cut. Just cut. Cut through all the acrimony. Cut through the fear. Cut through the violence and the anger. Remember, under it all, there's pride. There's love. There's appreciation. There are always common elements. Gratitude. Visions for the future. Hope, freedom, basic human rights, opportunities, creative vision. There are so many good connections. 
cut and cut between yourself, your country. Release so that we can go forward and heal. Invite your soul to just fill you with all of the good love and invite this energy to also shine out to your connection with your nation as you are cutting. Invite yourself to remember all the times you have celebrated your patriotism, your beliefs, your opportunities, all the times you felt grateful for your rights, your visions. Invite that energy to remind your connection to your nation, to remind the politics that we are not the victims. We are the makeup of this nation. We are the composition. And look at yourself. Look at your connection. If you'd like, you can do a little more cleansing. But that's a big one. And you can release our country and the politics out. Give yourself a little more love and gratitude and healing. In fact, take your, your cutting implement and cut all around yourself just to let it send extra love into your being, just for being the extraordinary, courageous person you are. And now call out and say, is there anything I need to face at this moment so that I can go forward feeling good about this work I have just done? Anything that I need to face that needs some healing or resolving or amplifying, come forward now. I command you, you are obligated to be here now at this moment. And you see coming forward that which you called. Take a moment, talk to it. What are you? Why are you here? Why are you what I need to face and resolve or amplify or value or release? Who are you and what are you to me? Look at the energy between you and this. Where is the love? How is the energy flow between you?
Are you grateful for this connection? Or is there anything the other needs to do for you to feel the gratitude and appreciation? Look at it and look at the energy. Now, your cutting implement. Raise it up. And cut down. Cut all around you. Just cut the energy. And as you are cutting, be aware of how you feel wherever the energy is cut. Be aware of are you feeling release, relief? Are you losing anything that you definitely want to lose or gaining anything that you are grateful to have? Just cut and cut. Look again at what is before you. Has it transformed in any way? Is it the same? Or has it changed presence? Look at the energy between you. If there's any energy left. What sort of love remains and how much? What direction is it flowing? Take a moment and talk to this, which you had called converse. Now release it, release everyone, release the politics, the country, your family, everyone you call, release them, release them. They are free to go back to where they belong. Look at yourself, look at how beautiful you are. You'd like, you can wave your implement around to a little more cutting just to like, oh, to a final cleansing and clearing. Then take your implement and store it wherever you'd like so that it can be here for you any time you want or need. Give gratitude to your body and your soul to be here with you today and help you with this process to understand that you are free to feel as much love and gratitude as you wish because your soul always loves you. Your soul is grateful to you for having the courage to come and live this life that you have found yourself in. And know whenever anyone connects to you, it is your right 
to only accept connections of love. Anything below that connection, it's your choice what to do with it. You can say, you're awesome. You may keep this connection. Or you may say, you're awesome, but you need to give me a better connection. Or you may say, you're awesome. I love you. Let's connect. This is your right. This choice is your right. It is your soul given right. Value yourself for you deserve it. Love yourself for you deserve it. And who return yourself to your body in this space, in this time, in the here and now. And allow yourself to resonate in this love that you have just gifted to yourself. Remember, as you go forward in life, it is your right to accept love and it is your right to be aware of but not connecting to anything below love. Thank you. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I feel so good with you. I wish I could stay forever. <laughs> Thank you all. Um, for those of us you who joined us on Facebook, um, I'm going to say thank you, farewell. And those of you who are with me on Zoom, if you'd like, stay tight. We'll have a little chat. And, um, and remember, everyone, join me at bonitawoods.org because we do a number of fun events every month. So thank you and um, have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye.